Now that you have a feel for how T works, we're ready to calculate our intersection point I between our ray CP and our line segment AB. Recall from the previous video that the slope-intercept form of the line AB is y equals negative 3x plus 11. And the parametric representation of the ray CP is the function r of t equals 1 minus t times c plus t times p. Different values of the parameter t locate different points on the ray. The intersection point that we're after is one such point on the ray. So there must be some value of t, call it t star, such that i equals r of t star. This is really two equations, one for the x-coordinate of i and one for the y-coordinate. These two equations are i sub x equals r sub x of t star, which equals 1 minus t star times c sub x plus t star times p sub x. In the same way, i sub y equals r sub y of t star, which equals 1 minus t star times c sub y plus t star times p sub y. In this particular case, c, our camera position, has coordinate 0, 0, and p has coordinates 2, 1 half. So we have i sub x equals t star times 2, and i sub y equals t star times 1 half. i is also on the line segment AB meaning that i satisfies the slope-intercept form for AB. That is, i sub y equals negative 3 times i sub x plus 11. So we have three equations and three unknowns, i sub x, i sub y, and t star. We can solve the system of equations by substituting the first two equations into the third to get an equation just in t star. 1 half t star equals negative 3 times 2 times t star plus 11. Solve this for t star, then plug that value of t star into the first two equations to get i sub x and i sub y. And that's how it's done. Before we continue, get some experience using this kind of parametric function in the next exercise.